The Russian occupiers have a task to capture Kurakovo before the new year, but it will be a meat grinder for them. This was stated on air by the Ukrainian military political observer of the information resistance group Alexander Kovalenko on Kiev 24. He stressed that worsening weather conditions have never stopped Russian occupiers. Now, when they are forming the southern flank of Pokrovsk along the right and left banks of the Volchia River, they are, among other things, creating conditions for an offensive on Kurakovo. And after Volodar was captured, now all those cabs that statistically flew to Volodar began to fly to Kurakovo. That is, this city is being prepared for further offensive and assault actions by the occupiers. Therefore, Kurakovo is really under maximum threat now, the expert noted. According to Kovalenko, Kurakovo has defensive lines and in addition, there are quite good relief and landscape features near the city which create natural obstacles for Russian occupiers. But when the Russians start working on Kurakovo daily with dozens of cabs and destroying our positions, reducing the capabilities of our borders, then nothing can stop them. And one way or another, they will approach Kurakovo at the appropriate distance to have a total advantage in fire damage. They are already trying to do this through Ostroy, putting pressure on Maximilianovka, Ostrovskoy, Alexandropol. That is, they are forming a northeastern flank to Kurakovo in order to have the ability to influence it from several directions, Kovalenko said. According to him, attempts to capture Kurakovo will cost the Russians even greater losses than they had during the attacks on Ugladar. On the one hand, they have a goal to advance very quickly and capture Kurakovo. In fact, by the end of the year, this is the goal. But there are quite a lot of obstacles to doing this in a timely manner or with minimal losses. In the Kurakovo direction, they will have huge losses. No less than in Ugledarskoy or along Kramatorskoy in the area of Chasov Yar. That is, for the Russians, it will be a meat grinder. The encirclement of Ukrainian defense forces, as the expert assures, is impossible here because there are at least two logistical exit arteries from Kurakovo, which the Russians cannot cut off. In his opinion, the general trend of the creeping advance of the Russians will not change until Ukraine receives all the weapons that it requests from its partners. Kovalenko noted that the Russians managed to develop the occupation movement in the east since October 2023. At that time, the enemy was advancing on Avdiivka and Chasivyar, and this was a period when Ukraine did not have enough military assistance from its partners. Russian occupiers are trying to break through to the city of Kurokovo in the Pokrovsk district of the Donetsk region. This was stated by the representative of the press service of the 79th Separate Airborne Assault Tavry Cheskaya Brigade of Ukraine, Orest Drimalovsky. He noted that the enemy's plans were clear. After capturing Volodar, they would move on to Kurakovo. They are throwing large forces into breaking through, in particular, the defenses of the 79th Air Assault Brigade in the area of the village of Konstantinovka. In October, there were already two massive assaults, said Drimalovsky. According to him, the enemy in the Kurokovo direction is not afraid to use its equipment and attacks in columns. He noted that on October the 1st, the occupiers threw 19 armored vehicles into battle and yesterday, October the 3rd, 10 armored vehicles. Our paratroopers have effectively reduced this Russian assault to zero. Out of 10 units of equipment, our soldiers destroyed seven, a tank and six combat armored vehicles with paratroopers. 20 occupiers were killed in this attack and more than 20 were wounded. But the occupiers have obviously sensed blood and are trying to speed up their offensive. But our soldiers are doing everything to disrupt these enemy plans and inflict significant losses on them. The situation remains very tense, emphasized the representative of the press service of the 79th Air Assault Brigade. According to him, each such attack ends with the enemy losing up to 10 units of armored vehicles. This area, where Nikolaev's paratroopers are stationed, near the village of Konstantinovka in the Marienskaya community, is in fact a graveyard of Russian armored vehicles. If you look from a bird's eye view, these are in fact hundreds of burned Russian tanks and other armored vehicles. As reported, Ukrainian military expert Alexander Musienko believes that Russian troops had an advantage in the Volodar direction, which is why the Ukrainian armed forces had to retreat 
According to him, the enemy will now control the commanding heights and the Ukrainian defenders will have to retreat to the fortified lines. He noted that the enemy will probably continue the offensive further to the northwest and will move towards Kurokovo. And as military expert and employee of the security service of Ukraine, Ivan Stupak reported, Russian occupiers want to tear the Donetsk region into two parts, the so-called North and the so-called South, in order to completely occupy it.